Pertussis is otherwise known as whooping cough and is caused by a bacteria called Bordetella pertussis. It spread through respiratory droplets and used to be a very common childhood illness. It's still very common worldwide and is responsible for about 185,000 deaths in children worldwide. And it has three distinct stages. The catareal stage, the paroxysmal stage, and the convalescent stage. Now the catareal stage is the first one and lasts about one to two weeks and is going to remind you of a common cold with low grade fever, runny nose, cough, sneezing. Nothing too exciting. But then the paroxysmal stage happens. It usually goes from the second week and can last one to six weeks. This is where you're going to have intense spasms of coughing where they can last minutes at a time with no time in between to, to even breathe. These people can turn blue because they're not getting enough oxygen. It's during this stage that we see the most problems. Things like aspiration pneumonias, pneumonias, seizures, and even deaths. Most deaths occur to children who are less than three months of age. The next stage is the convalescent stage, and this can take anywhere from two to six weeks as you gradually get better. Now, this vaccine has been around since the 1940s, and although it was extremely effective, it was a whole cell vaccine and caused some terrible vaccine reactions. Things like temperature up to 105, intense crying that could last for hours, and even had complications such as mental retardation, seizures, and death. In 1991, we started an acellular vaccine and most of our terrible vaccine reactions disappeared, although it still remained very effective. The vaccine is given at two months, four months, six months, again at 12 to 18 months, at boosters given at four to six years of age, 11 to 12 years of age, and is now recommended that it is given with the tetanus vaccine every 10 years after. Now, if you remember, the most common age a death occurred was less than three months. Infants that a lot of times are not even able to be protected from the vaccine. Most of these children got this disease from either their older siblings or their parents. It's definitely now recommended and is often offered through your OB-GYN to give this vaccine to pregnant women and all close family members that are gonna be around the newborn when they get home. Hopefully by protecting everyone around the children, we can protect those small infants. Now, most of the time, since about the 1940s, we've seen numbers in the few thousands per year. But with the anti-vaccine movement, over the last three years, we've seen a much higher increase in the incidence of pertussis, with numbers hitting as high as 46,000 in 2012. If we can know that you have whooping cough, we give you erythromycin. Erythromycin has been found to decrease the contagiousness of the disease, and if given early enough, can actually decrease how long the disease lasts. It's an important vaccine and something that we don't wanna see happen again in the United States, where before the vaccine, we were having numbers of the disease over 200,000 per year.